Hi, in this video we're going to do a demonstration, yet an object lesson on bitterness and forgiveness. And it's just as simple as having some balloons. Let's get right into it. Hi, if we're just meeting for the first time, I'm Joshua Wells with Kids Ministry 101. Today we're going to do a balloon object lesson. Now these balloons are cheap. You can go to Walmart and get them 97 cents for like 25. I use the 9 inch ones. They're, uh, they're very uh, good. I like them very much. Anyway, so the object lesson goes like this. Have you ever had somebody pick on you? Or maybe rub you the wrong way? Or simply, they aggravated you. And if you're not careful, you get to a point where you don't forgive them. And you harbor something called bitterness on the inside. That's how this goes. Pretend this balloon is you. And all of a sudden, somebody makes fun of you. And you get stretched, so to say. But you get pushed in the wrong way, and you start holding that on the inside. And if you're not careful, you don't forgive like you should. And then, here comes that same person, and it reminds you of what they've done. And you get blown up again. And, or maybe even they added to it, they called you another name. And then again, and again, and again. Well, before you know it, yep, you guessed it, you're gonna explode. Maybe you'll lash out at them too, but well, that's wrong. The Bible says we're supposed to be able to turn the other cheek. So maybe you're the kind of person that says, you know what, yeah, they picked on me. Yeah, they've, they've called me names. They've done me wrong. But you know what, ah, I'm not gonna blow up at them. I'm just going to be, you know, I'm going to harbor all that inside. I'm going to keep it. Well, you're not supposed to harbor bitterness on the inside. It leads into death, according to the scriptures. But all it's going to take is somebody else come right along and rub you the wrong way. Some Christians say, well, you know what? I'm just going to constantly be one to forgive. So they let it bother them, and then they forgive. Somebody calls them a name, they let it bother them, then they forgive. But the Bible teaches... Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing, nothing shall offend them. So what should we do? We should be the kind of Christian that ties the knot before ever getting offended. You tie the knot before it, and you won't be holding any, harboring anything on the inside. You won't have that unforgiveness inside, like, I'm not getting, I'm not forgiving them. No, no. And then nobody can blow you up. Nobody can mess you up. It's a lot better than being a Christian like this. Yeah, that's just gross. You want to be a godly Christian, one that forgives and doesn't hold bitterness on the inside. Hope you enjoyed the object lesson. Check out this one. You'll enjoy that one too. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to hit the subscribe, the like. God bless you. Have a great day.